I've got an incredible piece of gear right here, the U.S. Grunt Gear Infidel War Belt. Batman doesn't have anything on this with that little puny utility belt that he has. Now the battle belt has become very popular with a lot of competition, police, military uses. Uh, just very handy, easy to wear, padded, really keeps the weight evenly distributed across your waist. And so this is a great system and we're going to look at it because U.S. Grunt Gear is an incredible company out of Florida and they do a lot of custom work but this Infidel uh, War Belt the quality is just amazing on this piece of equipment. The belt is four inches wide to give you a good comfort. It's padded. It's closed cell padding which is really sturdy and strong. It's going to retain its shape. One and three quarter inch webbing. Heavy, heavy webbing. We're going to look at some of the details. I'm going to show you first though how this thing fits around your waist and then we're going to go into some of the specs as well. Now the war belt can be placed directly over your existing pants. It has a velcro lining and I'm going to show you that as well. But you bring it in, you've got it in place. This is the first way it fits. Makes it really easy to remove as, as well as you can see. These heavy duty Fastex buckles right up front. This is, some, this is fairly redundant though because it has this velcro heavy military velcro strapping inside. Now this inside belt pulls free very strong military grade velcro and then we're going to put this through our belt loops have it pulled through my belt loops then what I can do is, is cinch it tight and then bring this outer velcro across and what that does is it gives me a velcro belt all the way around very secure. Okay, I have my inner belt through the loops and over you want to make sure that these D-rings are on the top this is made for a vest attachment or you can even use this for accessories if you can uh, customize it to fit your needs. And what I do is I don't grab the buckles because the buckles overlap. But I get this belt on each end in about middle ways in my back, pull it around, attach the Fastex buckles. It's secure, it's attached through the belt loop and with this Velcro. It is not going to move in any physical activity. It's stationary and it's a solid platform for your weapon systems, your magazines, whatever setup you decide. Now here's your basic military issue pistol belt which we've been using these things for many years. Uh, the only thing that's really changed is the, uh, the buckle system. But Fastex buckle, very heavy duty and sturdy. I use this uh, at the TMP with nothing fancy at the sledgehammer under my Maxpedition Mini Tactical Vest with my dump pouch and my uh, holster for my pistol. But the thing is, these move around and with pouches, you don't know where that pouch is going to go. They just move around all over your belt. So while this has been fine for years, it's far inferior to the Infidel War Belt. Yeah, Infidel War Belt. made for me baby. We're gonna get a little closer look at the Infidel War Belt. You can see right away that the quality is just superior to about anything on the market. It does have the molly. This is a molly sleeve that goes over the belt itself. This can be moved. It has velcro on the inside as well. And if you pull that loose and you can adjust it to either side, right or left handed. One of the things too, this has a slot here where you can put a, your thigh rig or leg holster rigs through here, even magazine to bring it down. It can attach around the padded part of the belt and then come down on your leg. This side here has their three inch between stitch. It's a 1.75 inch heavy webbed webbing. Very heavy, double stitched as you can see here. This has in between for a backing the uh, non-rip spectra material that's really heavy duty and then of course around the back here we have stitched onto the belt this PALS webbing um, for molly attachments. Underneath this padded 
uh, portion here, and you can see a little bit, are also that 1.75 inch uh, heavy webbing here. The same is on this side. These rings here are steel. Everything is double reinforced. I mean, look at the stitching in between. This is great for your Kydex holsters. They can go in between here. You know, that's one of the things about having total molly is you have to have molly attachments, and sometimes that can be, uh, it may not suit your gear. With this, it's very adaptable. Of course, you have fully adjusting uh, straps here to, to adjust to the strap of your belt. Uh, of course, you can go onto their website and see the different lengths for, uh, for your waist size, but the buckles are top quality, very smooth with adjustments. These are photos downloaded directly from the US Grunt Gear uh, website. And as you can see, there are different ways. Here is where the uh, thigh rig comes down through that padded molly belt. Here, of course, you have your Kydex holsters. And also, of course, different applications here. There are so many different ways to set this up. Now, here we have the contractor's belt. And originally, I had wanted to do a whole separate video on this belt. But once I started realizing that it fits so well with the Infidel War Belt, because it can fit around the, uh, the interior uh, pile and Velcro belt, I wanted to do these together. I think this really makes a good system uh, to complete everything. Of course, we have the, the stitching of the uh, U.S. Grunt gear here. It has a double snaps. This is brass. Of course, I want to get another look at the pull away. It's not going anywhere. You set this it, to your waist size, and it is going to be very firm. It's also that really heavy webbing, even stitched in the center and double stitched on the outside. Uh, it has double, of course, webbing here. This pile for Velcro makes it even more comfortable. It's double stitched around here and then around the back there's not any padding, but there is actual padding in between on this contractor belt. Very high quality. Everything about this is for people that are really going to use this in a hard way. And if you've done any comp competing, sheepdog, military, police, you know how gear can get just worn out in a hurry. It needs to be tough. And this stuff is first quality. There's nothing that's been overlooked. Here's the contractor's belt fitted. You fit it through the belt loops, bring it around, Velcro in, then you take your snaps. Nice, solid brass fittings. This is a very high quality system. Very good for your holsters, very good for magazine pouches, not loose and flopping around. And with the reinforcement of the belt, belt loops, just makes a great system. Now, what's really neat about this contractor's belt is that not only does it fit as a standalone belt, but you can also put this on your inside belt for your infidel contractors, I mean infidel war belt. Now I have even a better platform for this. And then holster, pistol mags, however I want to set it up. And then when I want to take it off, peels right off and can be set aside without encumbering the weight around you. A really cool logo here on the U.S. Grunt Gear. Proudly made in the USA. Of course, it's usgruntgear.com. This is the, the Infidel War Belt system. The contractor's belt is separate, but I think these two match up perfect. Now, U.S. Grunt Gear specializes in custom-made uh, assault-type gear, load-bearing vest and different systems and go to their website usgruntgear.com and it's really a fascinating website a lot of great stuff uh, a lot of things that you know that you don't really commonly see and you know we did a review just a uh, a month ago i guess it was on the uh, on a vest an assault vest a buddy of mine that uh, the other eddie john who had ordered it from us grunt gear had found it on i think it was ar15.com and ordered it from them through that and then after getting involved with their website, how wonderful and the many cool products they had, uh, now we're addicted to U.S. Grunt Gear. Go to usgruntgear.com, check it out. Uh, Robert, who is the owner 
is a fantastic guy, just really personable, and just to see to the needs uh, of the individual person and the individual shooter. And as always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more fun gun reviews and sensible survival. God bless America. Long live the Republic. Protection. And then what we do is they will do a project just specifically. The old lady's gone today so I can smoke on my big stove.